the latest incentive program to be announced, and how these incentive programs are impacting state stimulus checks. Also, what California is doing for the homeless in that state. All of which we're going to be talking about in this video, so let's get into it. Welcome everybody, thanks for joining me, great to see you as always. If you haven't done so, please make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video so I can continue to be your daily advocate. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it, and let's talk through this. So have you noticed lately we haven't heard any new announcements of states coming out with their own stimulus checks for the residents? Yeah, it's been a few weeks. In fact, just a few weeks ago, we were seeing all of these different programs coming out and governors announcing these state stimulus checks for the residents in their states because they were getting all of this newly printed money right out of the treasury, $350 billion that was being distributed to the states. Well, the money is still being distributed. They're still getting all of this money. But yet, where are the state stimulus checks? Yeah, we've been waiting for them too. Yeah, I agree with you. It's been a while since we've heard a new announcement out of states. Why is that? Well, because they're replacing these state stimulus checks with, yup, you called it, these incentive programs instead. So versus uh, like last year, when we had this down period between the stimulus checks, remember that the $1,200 and the $600 stimulus checks last year? We had this down period between the distribution of those. Well, there were some states that were coming out during that time thinking, hey, you know, our residents are really struggling right now. We need to offer some additional money to these people. Let's look how much money we have sitting here and let's, uh, let's spend some of it. Let's send it out to our residents and help them out in any way we can. We saw that a lot last year. There were many, many states, cities, counties that had different stimulus programs. We started to see that again this year, but instead this time they're starting to dry up. The reason for this is they're replacing them with all of these vaccination lotteries, sweepstakes, and incentive programs. So this is the new hot thing right now. Rather than giving people stimulus, they're making you basically get a vaccination for it. So, of course, I have to say this in all my videos, I'm not here to persuade you in either way regarding the vaccination. I'm just bringing you the information on the latest incentive programs. You gotta do what's best for you, your family, and your situation. I don't know that, and I'm not going to persuade you in either way. It doesn't matter to me at all. I'm just bringing you the information so you can decide if you want to uh, take part in these vaccination things. But anyway, let me tell you the latest one that was just announced today. So. Let's talk through this and then we'll talk about what California is going to be doing for their homeless in that state. A nice new program that is going to be rolling out here sometime soon. So anyway, the latest incentive program comes out of New Mexico. New Mexico is up with their new Vax to the Max program. It was just announced this morning and what this is going to be doing is they have $10 million. Yes, millions upon millions of dollars these states are giving out in these programs. So, um, well, with the exception of Minnesota, they're giving away fishing licenses. <laughs> yeah, anyway, they're giving more than that away, but I like to make fun of it because it's like only in Minnesota would you get a, fi a fishing license for getting a vaccine. But anyway, it's just kind of funny. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's talk through this. So um, New Mexico, they are giving away $10 million in the form of these sweepstakes for the Vax to the Max program. So how this is going to work is they're going to be giving away, well, a lot of different things. They're going to be giving away like state park tickets. Actually, hunting and fishing licenses are also some of the giveaways they're doing, as well as um, just other just random stuff. Like, like I said, state park um, tickets, amusement park tickets, um, hunting, fishing licenses, and then the grand prize, $5 million. But then in addition to that, every single week, they're going to be drawing uh, one winner from each of the four public health areas in that state. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I did not look at a map, so I'm not sure what these four public health areas are, but I anticipate if you looked at a map and you looked at it and you live in New Mexico, you probably know what these are. But either way, every single week, they're going to be drawing one winner out of each of these four um, areas within the state and giving those winners... $250,000, so a quarter million dollars. So it's not a million, but I mean, 250 grand is certainly life-changing, right? I mean, I don't know about you, but $250,000 to me would certainly be life-changing even after I peel off 50% of it and give it back to the government in the form of taxes. Yes, 
I think that's one thing that many people don't uh, realize is when people win these lotteries, yeah, you pay about 50% of it in taxes. So anyway, side note. But yeah, still pretty nice though, right? $250,000 to four people every single week that is going to be drawn with that program. So pretty nice. If you live in New Mexico, here's the thing. You need to register. A lot of these other states, you are automatically enrolled if you have the vaccine already or if you are going to be getting it within these windows that they have, you're automatically enrolled in most states. However, According to my research, in New Mexico, you actually need to enroll. If you don't enroll, you wouldn't be eligible, right? So let me give you the website. It is vaccinenm.org. So vaccinenm, like New Mexico, .org. So go on there. You need to fill out all of your information, and uh, then you could be enrolled. So again, vaccine nm like new mexico dot org check that out that's where you can uh, enroll to be part of this sweepstakes and grab that five million dollars oh bye uh, by the way that five million dollars is going to be given away in august so between now and then there's those weekly giveaways two hundred fifty thousand dollars not bad right all right so anyway i wanted to bring that to you because that's just my job here right i'm on <laughs> when i'm on the clock i gotta keep working for you <laughs> and and uh, bring all this information to you anyway Let's talk about what California is doing for their homeless. Now, this is a new program that California is going to be rolling out. They're allocating $12 billion to help bring housing to the 161,000 people in that state who are homeless. I mean, that sounds like a lot of people to me. I know that uh, I've heard this a lot through different articles I've read, people that have mentioned it down in the comments section. Just I've heard it around. But apparently California has a homeless problem. I mean, apparently it's a big issue there in California. I mean, honestly, I've never been to California other than stopping in the LAX airport for a couple hours a couple times. But other than that, I've never been to California. So I don't know what it's like, but 161,000 people homeless seems like a lot of people. I mean, I don't know if that's a big number compared to other states or not. I didn't do the research to be totally honest with you, but that sounds like a lot, a lot of people. So anyway, they have $12 billion they are allocating for this new project to bring these 161,000 people into secure homes where they're going to be converting. <clears throat> it sounds like they want to be con uh, converting hotels into like apartments or something. Um, so yeah, they have a lot of different initiatives that they want to do with this and then have on-site care and assistance for these people. So not bad, right? This is pretty cool. The only problem, it's a multi-year project. It's gonna be, you know, it's gonna take a while. It's not like something they can do this weekend, you know, weekend warriors and uh, change all of these hotels into apartments and bring all these people into these houses. No, unfortunately, this is a program that's gonna take many, many years to implement. So, but either way, at least they have an actionable plan to help these people out and, you know, get them off the streets, get them into some, some secure housing and hopefully get them some on-site assistance right then and there. Pretty cool. So, I mean, it's nice. At least it's something versus just kind of turning a blind eye to the whole topic and being like, oh, what? Wait, what? So at least they're doing something. Good stuff. So I wanted to bring you all this, but yeah, it's a little bit sad to see that these states are not offering state stimulus checks anymore right now, simply because, you know, they have other incentives. They can say, hey, why would we give people free stimulus checks when we can tell them to get a vaccine and then they could be eligible to get a stimulus check. However, there are a few states out there that are offering some um, state stimulus checks. So just be aware of that. There probably will be many more of these incentive programs being announced over the coming days and weeks. So I'll keep you posted with all of that. And maybe at some point, there'll be more of these state stimulus checks being announced as well. I would anticipate they're probably gonna be something going forward, but um, yeah, I'll keep you posted with all that. Also, by the way, if you're somebody receiving unemployment benefits right now, just be aware. Again, I'm not going to tell you anything what you can or can't do. I'm just just want you to be totally aware of this. But in some of these states, they're starting to require job searches. So if you're unemployed, you may need to start filling out records uh, in your state saying, yes, I am actively looking for work on a weekly basis. So just be aware. If you're in one of these states, uh, like Florida, 
Florida, for example, when I was just doing my research, I came across a bunch of information on this and I was reading about it a little bit. So in Florida, that is one of the states they are requiring these job searches. So I'm not sure what the actual parameters are as far as qualifying, like, yes, I'm unemployed, I'm receiving unemployment benefits, and I am at the same time doing a weekly job search. But just remember, that is something that's going to be widespread across many of these states going forward. Now that we have 23, actually, I think it's 24 states now that are opting out of these unemployment benefits. That's a lot of states. Almost half of the states in this country are opting out of that $300 federal boost to the unemployment benefits starting over the next probably four or so weeks, most of which will be ending in June. There's a few different time frames. It's literally all across the board for every state, but most of which will be ending right here in June. So just be aware of that. You wanna stay on top of that, especially if you are receiving unemployment benefits. You gotta be aware of this stuff, especially if you're in one of those states, because one day you could wake up and think, uh-oh, my benefits have ended. That's not good. Yeah, right. So you got to stay on top of this stuff and just be aware of what's going on in your specific state because every state is totally different right now with all these different things going on. As you can see, the state stimulus checks, the vaccine, uh, vaccination lotteries, the um, unemployment benefits, just like so many different things on the state level is like cooking right now. There's a lot going on. At the same time, we're talking about all this other stuff on the federal level, including the fourth stimulus check, monthly stimulus checks, recurring stimulus checks, Medicare reform, social security reform, SSI reform. Man, <laughs> there's a lot going on. Yes, it is a, a very busy time right now with all of this stuff going on. So it is my job to continue to be here for you, to keep you updated with all of this going on. I hope this helps you out to some degree. And for those of you in New Mexico, make sure if you do have the vaccination, make sure you go and register on that website I gave you. Vaccine, uh, what is it? VaccineNM.org. Make sure you register there so you can hopefully win that $5 million. If you're in New Mexico, hey, I wish you the best of luck. Seriously, I hope you win something. That'd be awesome. Super cool. And I wish you the best of luck with that. For everybody else and everybody watching, thank you so much for being here. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video if you haven't done so already. Feel free to share this video with your friends, family, social media, and check out any of my other videos right here on the channel as I'm quickly approaching 1,200 videos right here on the channel. Thanks again, everybody. I really do appreciate you. And uh, be sure to check out those videos from earlier today. There's some pretty good stuff coming out lately, but we're kind of in this weird limbo stage right now with the negotiations on the next infrastructure package, otherwise known as the stimulus package, which will likely contain the next fourth stimulus check. But don't worry, I will continue to keep you updated with all of that going forward. I know it's incredibly confusing with everything, but uh, don't worry. I'm here for you. Just want to help you out in any way that I can. Thanks, everybody. You're awesome. Oh, one quick thing I forgot to say at the beginning of the video. Thank you to all of you for the very nice messages on the video yesterday from the baby reveal. Yeah, so many amazing comments on that video. I meant to say it at the beginning. Uh, I apologize. But yeah, so many nice, nice comments on that video. Just so cool of all of you. So thank you really. I mean, Corey and I have just loved reading through the comments. We've been trying to respond to as many as possible, but uh, comments are coming in really fast on that video. So yeah, thank you again. It's so nice to read all your comments. So thanks again, everybody. You're awesome. And we'll see you in the next video. I'll see you later.